Hi folks, and welcome to this video on the index and match function in Google Sheets. If you need to find some data in a table like this, the index and match function can help you out with that. It looks across the rows and down the columns to find this key piece of information that we're looking for. So let's dive in and take a look at how we can do that. Often people are torn whether to use the index and match or the VLOOKUP function. Typically, people start with the VLOOKUP because it's probably a little bit easier to get going with, but actually the index and match function is much more powerful. And so if you've mastered the VLOOKUP, then you would really want to look at the index and match next. I've also got a video for the VLOOKUP formula and how to return multiple columns with that. So I'll post a card up above if you want to check that out. Right, so I'm over into this new sheet here without the function set up. Now we're going to break this down into three steps because the index and match function requires three elements, the index and then two matches in order to make it work. Let's start with the index function. If we type in index here, let's bring up the helper. So the reference we want is our range where we're going to find the piece of data. Now, if we bring up the helper here, you can see the first argument is the row. So the index is looking for a row number. So the way that this works is that we need to specify the row within this table. So if we're looking for example, this organic search, this will be one, two, three, four, five rows down. So we would put five in here and the column, if we wanted to say return this revenue would be five across. So we'll put five in there, close the parentheses, and that would give us that value. So that's the index on its own. Let's just move this across and we'll name that there. Now, if we want to do a match, let me just show you how that works. So we do a match there. Now the search key in our case is going to be this value up here. This is what we're going to look for in our table. We're going to find that key within this range here. So this is our range. Now the search type by default, if we open this up here, one is default, which finds the largest value. We want a zero because that's an exact match. We must put a zero to find exactly what we're looking for. So if we enter there, we get the five. And you remember that was the five that we had up here as well. And so let's do the match for the second one. So the search key in our case here is going to be whatever we want to find along the top here. So let's say for argument's sake, we're looking for the revenue. Let's choose this one up here. And we're going to find that within this table along this row. And again, zero for our exact match and that gives us the five. So this is how we build that separately. Now let's build that all in one formula. So if we do in here equals index, let's close that for a second. We're going to index this whole table here, this data, let's lock that. And instead now of choosing the row and column like we did before, we're going to inject our match functions in here. So we'll just start with a match and the search key in this case will be this value here and we're going to look for that in this part of the table. Let's lock these as well. And you remember we want our zero for an exact match. We'll close the parentheses on that one. And then we open into the column argument of the index now. So we'll do a match again. Now in this case, we're looking for users now in this particular case. So that's our search key. And we're going to find that in this part of our table here. So let's lock that. Now this one, we want to lock it, but we want to drag this formula across into all these other columns. So we're going to lock just the row like this. So that's an F4 key to toggle through to lock just the row. We put our zero for an exact match, close the parentheses there, and one more to finish the whole thing off and hit enter there. So you can see that's the value we've got down here for organic search, and that's what we've got up here. And if we drag this across, we get this all matching up as expected. Now, when we change this, it pulls through all of the data relevant to what we've got up here. This, by the way, is the new drop-down chips, and I'll post a, a card up above so you can watch that video. The drop-down chips allow you to make your tables much more dynamic, and using them in conjunction with the index and match functions, you'll be able to get nice looking tables like this. The other great thing about the index and match versus the VLOOKUP formula is that this, the index doesn't care 
where this tape where this element is this lookup element with the vlookup the search key always has to be to the left of the table and it looks to the right but with index and match we can put this somewhere else and it doesn't change the formulas at all because it's just looking at this range as the index so that's just something to bear in mind you know you this this part of the table for example could be anywhere else in your sheet and it won't matter so that's a, a really good benefit of the index and match what's your thoughts on the vlookup versus the index and match which one do you prefer? Post a comment below. It'd be interesting to see what your thoughts are. I hope you found that useful, guys. If you like that video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, folks.